D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and here is part number two of troubleshooting the Mitsubishi mini split unit or, uh, or ductless mini split well this is actually another ductless the indoor unit is ducted but it's the same concept um, it's, not, it's, not, it's not the VRF types that you see right here it's actually the mini split um, version let me walk over to it so in the first part of this video I had found that uh, the dip switch setting for the model on the main PCB right here wasn't set up properly, right? It was still in the factory default. So the, there's a contractor that replaced this board, it wasn't me, uh, it wasn't D2D, uh, and they replaced the main PCB right here and they didn't set up the dip switches to match the current model. Uh, now, I know it's loud, it's loud back here, but this is real world, real HVAC simplified, so it's gonna be loud, all right? So here it is right now, the compressor is running. My suction line temperature is 48, you can see. My amperage is lower, the amperage is lower than, than when it wasn't set up correct. So I guess the inverter didn't know how much to put out for the compressor because the model was not set up they didn't know it's a uh, generic factory setup with the switches were in the off position and they were all in the off position so they, you know it didn't know what to do and I think really what was happening it was cutting off on a uh, high hams because you, it, on the previous video you can see we were running at um we were running at um, close to 12 and 12 is actually the the full load amps right so look at our pressures right now that's the eye side we're right at 400 it's hot back here all right, it's really hot back here because we got all these condenser throwing off heat. New York, New York City. We're in the alleyway. All right, we're in we're in the back alleyway. We got condensers right here, lovers throwing off heat. This is typical <laughs> New York City for you, you know HVAC New York City. So basically, um, this if you're going to replace the main PCB on your Duckless mini split or even your VRF um, 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 units type units right you got to make sure that you know your main PCB oftentimes they serve several different models so which means that when you get it get it from the factory shipped or from the supplier house it's going to be not set up you would have to make it the settings on the dip switches to match your current model so in this case, real quick, I'll upside it down. Real world, real time. So in this case, you can see we're a, a PUZ A36 NHA4, right? So remember that number. I'm gonna turn this around. So I'm just gonna sit it up right here. Sit it, stand it up right here. Hopefully it don't fall on my head. All right, and thus, you know, this unit does have the MN, um, not MN, it does have the Mnet board attached to it, right? This little board right here on the side. So you can hook up your computer to it, your MN converter, and use your computer to look at your system, see what's going on, but I didn't do that today. Um, it was rather straightforward. Now. Here is uh, the different models, the various models, which this main PCB right here, main PCB can work with or works with. All these models right here. That's the reason why it tells you model select and that's SW6. And you can also, do, if you don't have this, this all thing right here, you could download this information from a uh, www.mylinkdrive.com that's www.mylinkdrive.com and when you go on there based on your country select your country so you know if you're in the US you will select USA if you're in Jamaica you select Jamaica if you're in Belize wherever it's a global thing all right wherever Mitsubishi has been sold so let's get back to it so uh we can go down, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different models which this this one PCB board 
serves or used on. So in order for you to get it right, for, or for the machine to work right, you have to select your model. So in this case, our model is this one right here. It's actually marked. This one right here. So SW6, you will make number one off, number two and three on, four and five off, uh, six and seven on, and eight is off. Then you'll move over to SW5, right? But on SW5, we're gonna omit switches one through four. We only gonna be paying attention to switches five and six. And as you can see, come on camera, five and six, five is off and six is on. That's it, you're done, all right? Oh, look at my suction line right now. Oh, that thing is cold. Ice cold at 42 degrees. And still my amperage is not as high as it was in the previous video. It was 12 and cutting off. This thing is really nice. You can hear the compressor, right? So there you go. That's so you, you know, um, I, that was a problem. And I have a solution. Let me see here. I use my, uh, my test lead, my meter test lead right here to uh, toggle the switches. Let me get my light and show you five and uh, SW5 and uh, SW6. You can see it right there. Okay, so here you can see this one right here is six and this one up here is five, okay? And you can see that on six, two and three is on, four or five off, six, seven on, eight is off. And on five, we only have uh, six on, five is off. Right? And that, that correspond to our drawing right here, right? Our diagram right here. So yeah, that's pretty much it, man. That was the diagnostic. You know, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hadn't subscribed, subscribe. New toolbox, I'm loving it. You know, I got my impact, uh, dual impact right there. You know, I custom, custom fit that. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm loving it. All right. So yeah. And everything right here fits in my toolbox, except for this box. This is a different box just for these gauges right here. And this gauge is actually made for mini splits. It's just one side. You're wondering. Navvac, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a tool junkie, tools junkie. All right. So yeah, again, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If it, if, if it helps you out, if you find it useful. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I do upload videos on a weekly basis. Real world, real HVAC. Nowhere else, right? New York City.